Well, I'm very pleased to announce that we now have a boat that would float the right way up. Hi, I'm Tony, and this is the story of the build of this 31 foot 8 inch J. Benford designed cruising sailboat. From the lofting of the lines to her emerging from the boat shed to receive her keel, masts and all the other paraphernalia that make up a cruising vessel. Join us on this adventure as we build to patch her and hopefully set off to test her out as a liveaboard cruising vessel. Aisle. Well, last week you remember we jacked the boat up to get enough clearance to get that keel underneath it. And uh, the first job, I'll stand aside, is to put some props around just for a bit of extra security to make sure she stays <laughs> stays up there. Although I think they're unnecessary, they're a bit of sort of peace of mind more than anything. But put some props around. And then it's start to prepare the job. Now I'd put some wood under the boat, the, the start of the keel timber was, has been there for quite a while, uh, but now I've got it high enough I could get under there properly with the long straight edge and check it's absolutely straight all the way through there, fore and aft, but also straight square across the thwart ships because that keel needs to go up and, and locate itself in a perfectly perpendicular to the bottom of the boat. Well, last week, you remember that Kerry and I had pulled the keel out in, in the garage there, in the boat shed, in, out into line with the boat, ready to drag it out under the boat. But the rollers I had it on weren't very good. They were very thin walled tube, um, some from a bit of old scrap I had laying around. So first job was to make some better rollers and bought some water pipe with a much thicker wall cut some lengths of that and uh, got them under and in order to get them under one thing I had to do was come up with some method of, of jacking up the keel it was quite close to the ground so the, the little jack wouldn't go underneath it so I also made a marvellous device for jacking her up
there, okay. And then we, uh, we sort of lined her up again after that and pulled it out to the front of the shed. Now, on the concrete in the shed, she moves relatively easily with the two of us, but um, on the grass here, that was going to be a different story. So the first thing we did was to, to lay out some boards that uh, would form a track for the keel to roll on. And um, that unfortunately left a little bit of a step between the concrete level and, and the boards. So, um, when we come to pull it over there, that was a yeah, took a bit of effort to get it up onto the boards. But once on the boards, she rolled really easily. And we used, again, we used the come along winch that you've seen me use before a few times. It's been a very good purchase, that. And uh, just tied it to the car one end and, and pulled her under there slowly, steadily, you know, che checking that everything was in line. When we first got it up onto the boards, it was a little unstable, so we had to get some rollers under there to, to stabilise everything. But once that was done, it slid under there relatively easily and, and worked out well with the height. It had maybe three quarters of an inch between the top of the bolts and the bottom of the boat. It slid under there really well.
No. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. A little bit more, a bit more. Yeah, that's probably about it. In all of the holes. Wow. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, but I've chipped some of the primer sealer off along the bottom where I was levering it to and fro. So I just need to sand that off and recoat it. Yeah, well, as I've already mentioned, it was most important that the keel comes up, you know, at right angles to the to the flat bottom of the boat. And uh, in order to guarantee that, as one thing I needed to do was to make sure that the boat was sitting level. So I put a, a spirit level on the bottom of the boat, and indeed it wasn't. Um, it involved me jacking up one side and jacked up the port side was high so to jack up the port side take some of my little ply shims out to bring it down and check it and get it level so that, that keel would then come up nice and perpendicular
So, after a dry fit, check everything was square, looking good, lowered it down a bit again and, and got some epoxy in there and wetted out both surfaces um, with a roller, just, just pure epoxy and then got an awful lot of thickened epoxy in there. Um, and it was important to have plenty, you know. Plenty of thickened epoxy all the way through there, jacked it up and got a lovely squidge of epoxy out there clean up and a really nice full joint and it was really good because the joint went up perfectly amazingly well and and when I put a square on there it's all beautifully square and I'm very pleased That is a nice tight fit, isn't it? Beautiful. And here it is, looking along underneath the boat. It's gone up really, really well. I'm very pleased. Good and tight underneath. And uh, sealed completely. Now, obviously, I put a load of thickened epoxy in there, rather a lot of thickened epoxy in there. Um, but actually, it's gone up good and tight, and quite a lot of that oozed out. Um, so I had to clean that off again. But uh, I say, I'm really, really pleased with how it's gone up. The front end here lines up perfectly. I need to do a bit of shaping on that kill wood. And the aft end, the rudder will fit on, obviously on the aft end there, clearly enough, and runs down to have a shoe on that sloping section of the kill there. That I'm indicating with the camera. Another thing that's worked out marvelously is that it's perfectly in line. When you put a straight edge down there, it comes nicely to the middle of that section.
and that is it for this week. Now, obviously, there's a, there's a fair bit to do still on the kill. The, the bit of timber that was already on the bottom of the boat that needs to be fared a bit. It fits very well, but a little bit of fairing, particularly the front end, that needs shaping. Um, that's going to be glassed, and we'll have a little fillet along there. So, there's still a bit of work to do there. The keel bolts where they come through I'd, I'd oversized drilled the holes a bit so I'm going to pour some epoxy down those um, and seal those nuts on there properly so still a bit to do um, but it's it's basically there and, and yeah, the boat has a kill and it's been a long time coming hasn't it and that's what I say where we're going to leave it for this week now thank you for watching a massive thank you from me to the lovely people who support us on Patreon now we have a Patreon page and um, there are three or several tiers of support on that from as little as one dollar a month um, Every now and again, I put a little video up there of stuff that's going on sort of round and about uh, less formal than these here, but um, if you're interested uh, I'd like to show your appreciation for the for the efforts here get over there That's it for now Give us a thumbs up leave a comment hit that subscribe button and see you next time. Bye.